Welcome back, hey. adventurers. Oh, we've been demoted. Oh, <laughs> oh totally. Supposed to be heroes. The fuck? Oh. You could be both. Mm. <laughs> you guys are in. Ellie, you're in. It's day. You've been doing some morning investigations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, no. Some of you went directly to the council palace to investigate those tunnels where Zup had escaped from you the night before. You've learned that the Wild Rose is magic. You've showed it to Hammerlane when you attempted to barge in to the very private chambers during a council session. She came out, met you, was very Hammerlane of herself, and you would like to investigate Harl's office. Some of you, however, went over to the corners where you were talking to Jenny, the blacksmith, or Olavi, the baker, yeah, where nice. you got some treats. Yep. You guys got some information about Zup and his interest in the mines, which people say are haunted. You know what I say? I say, are you ready to roll? Yeah! yeah! Amazing. Yes. So, <laughs> we're gonna start with the team who's in the palace right now as you guys are traveling to that district. So, as we are heading, are you gonna go with them? You see the dwarf took off instantly, heading beeline for the Palatinate district. Uh, <laughs> you are following behind Sanguina. Just uh, before we go to them, did you, do you gonna follow? Uh, Yes, but I, I guess, uh, <laughs> do I have a choice between that and cleaning the sick blood off my face? Well, well, you were given a, they came over to you with a cool towel. Okay, to, yeah. I mean, you could trail behind. Is that oh, all you, you wanted? Oh, you can walk and wipe. Yeah, walk and yeah, wipe. Yeah, that's, that's all I wanted. Or, no, that's not all I wanted. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would uh, like to uh, find an, a child who isn't going to cough up blood on my face and ask them about the mine. Oh, well, you're not going to get anything from Damn right I won't, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, are you, Sanguina, are you lingering as he talks or did you follow Rurik? Oh, I'm following Rurik. Okay, no, you it's... and Rurik make your way to the Palatinate. Right. This won't take, <clears throat> this We'll won't do this quickly and then we're gonna head inside the Council Palace. Huh? So you can easily pick them out. Yeah. The crowd is, they're trying to bring them around the corners. They're trying to corral them, they're hard to contain, but you can easily pick one out that's not actively bleeding. Okay. Uh, I take a little... This uh, one's a young man, and he's wearing a very similar outfit, though, okay. and he's trying to shove seeds into the pockets of all the people helping, like mm -hmm. all the crew who are trying to, like, board up the well, <laughs> and he's just running around. I take a little, uh, like, chain of Bead. beads Tree. off of my uh, sash, and I say, look. Look. <laughs> Look. Did you want some seeds? I have seeds. Thank you very much. Leaf, see, death. Yes. Life. <clears throat> I wanted to ask. Be the leaf. Be I. Be will the tree. Be the leaf. <clears throat> I wanted to ask. Have you been to the mines? There's a mine? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I find another chapter. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. Uh, do you have any friends? Everyone is my friend. You're uh, my friend. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> I'm gonna follow. <laughs> 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 I just like, got jealous. Yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> jealous. I just got jealous that that everyone was investigating things, and I was like, I will glean information. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys are. There are lots of uh, manors and estates that are beautiful in the Palatinate district. So as you're walking through, you can see all the large homes that are just outside of the extravagant council palace. Hmm. Khalifa lives in there, somewhere. And then inside yeah, so. the council palace, a oh, guard right. has led you down the hall to a very luxurious set of office spaces that go off to the right and left. There are very, like, so just chock full of artwork on the walls, vases, paintings mostly of probably former council members, lots of dwarves. Anything old that would interest Seno? <laughs> <laughs> Big time. Investigation. <laughs> Only everything. 
You should just be like, my passive investigation is up and I don't even roll. Yeah, I should. Because <laughs> it would be better. But trying to, pay attention, <laughs> trying to pay attention as you are looking down the halls for antiquities and scavenged relics, because it's just beautiful with all the stuff in here. Instead, you get distracted by, there's just a light beam coming in at a beautiful angle and it's reflecting onto a painting of a beautiful dwarf. Um, and nice. you're just like, oh, she looks so lovely the way the light hits her skin. Did you guys see this? Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's a very lovely painting. Warlock, like, we don't have time for this. Let's the light? What? Oh, fine. I appreciate <laughs> that you're such an appreciator. It's actually very endearing. But do you guys want to snoop the offices? Uh, I'm gonna... I would very much like to check out the office. So the guard yeah. leads you into a small office that is, as he announces, this is the office of Councillor Halvenau. Um, please don't move anything? Yeah, that's it just seems definitely like it's, not going to happen. That's not how you look for things. <laughs> I don't... Uh... Yeah, we won't throw stuff around. We won't be all, like, ransacking as a place, but mm. stuff's going to have to move. Don't do but that. We're, yeah, just we gonna, we're just going to take a look in here. Why don't you wait out there? We're just going to okay. close the door. Uh, don't I don't worry think about that's why. I'm, I will right, stay. Don't worry about it. We're going to be just fine. Are you going to push him out? We're going to be just fine. <laughs> He's standing yes. pretty firm, so roll strength. Uh, does Zop have an office? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> so you, you're oh, probably pretty. 16. You're yeah. probably pretty easily like push him off of his feet, uh, and he was told to let you guys into the office. So yes, yes, all right, all right, yes, don't worry, everything will be just fine over here. Everything will be just fine. Slam. <laughs> and then I push something over right away. <laughs> I just wanted to do that just to see, get him just spinning out there a little bit. All right. <laughs> no, Hammerlane said it was bad to have heroes in her town, and you guys were like, no, it's totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> bad to have Alan in your town. All right. <laughs> so you're in, you're in a pretty small office space because the whole hallway is just, there's so many of them. But there's a ornate uh, oak desk and a lovely large chair with a very plush purple cushioning built into it. There are lots of bookshelves, books. Most of them are in common, and they're about merchant business. There's Anything evil in here. <laughs> Tasty air. You need to lick a wall. Evil tasting air. Lick the desk. <laughs> Nothing evil in the room. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Okay. So All right. He's yeah. evil in his heart. Got it. Perceive the room to see if there's. Yeah, you can roll a perception. You can investigate. We want to find any trace oh. of zup activity as well. Uh, twenty-four. Whoa. Uh, if you're looking for things that are zup related, there is on the shelf a collection of previous ledgers that he probably written in. So once an archival book was full, there's a couple more of them, and they're dated. They don't go back very far. Interestingly, they're by month. And there's only four or five months left. Hey, Seno, those books over there, they look a lot like the journal that you're carrying around there from Zap. Maybe we should take a look at that. Make I fire so. magic, um, man. Was there any candles in here? Nothing that's lit. Okay, well, you know, light a candle with prestidigitation or whatever's appropriate. On the, on the desk, there's some writing supplies and a little yeah. candle next to a very ornate peacock feathered quill pen. Sorry. First book, some pages of his candle. Same idea. Same. Does it say the same thing? It says the same poem. Oh God, he's not very creative. <laughs> he's not um, very well mentally, apparently. No. Um, I'd like to look around for other documents. It might be suspicious. Documents relating to uh, the Grove Ruins. Okay. Where are you looking? Um, in the desk or on the bookshelves? I will start in the desk. Okay. Look for anything about the well. And what are you, you're, are you just standing with the flower directing this search? <laughs> Apparently. Okay, um, good. Is there an hourglass in the room? Hmm, do an investigation. I'm moving There's around the walls. <laughs> <laughs> not that you see. You're like, you know what? No hourglasses in here, guys. I'm gonna move around the walls and look for anything out of place. Sure, and you particularly <laughs> think about the t um, maybe that idea Tunnels of pushing on stones yeah, again. Exactly. So you're going around just feeling it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to open the door a crack and sort of slide on out, hopefully without these two noticing. Uh, is the guard still outside? You're going to push aside the small, uh, probably very valuable end table that Alany first dumped in front. So you move that. 
and then you peek out the door. The guard is standing right there, and he he's like staring at you as you peek out. <laughs> Hello, handsome. Ah. Uh, Hello. Everything's going fine in there. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Is there a garden nearby on the rooftop? Not on the rooftop, but what just about outside. The rooftop, but like a little terrace, or. Uh, just outside, if you go out to the east gate, the east wall of the, the palace, there's a go small... all the way out to, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, there's, the dirt is outside. So there's no, like, uh, like, a balcony with some flower pots? Uh, like, uh, we're having a fucking wedding. It's got to look nice in here. You don't think it looks nice? We've oh. been trying for so hard. No. Weeks. Oh, no, no. It looks ah. beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. People, oh. the heroes oh. of Ellie. Things a place looks like shit. No, I don't know. You're extrapolating. I so didn't say that. No, 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 no. It looks beautiful. I forgive Ooh. me. That was my half elf and. We have not slept for days. Oh, I'm so sorry. If you want to take a nap, I can go cover for you. Where would you nap? Somewhere that's tranquil and full of plants. <laughs> I'd go outside the east. <laughs> Good luck. Have a great day. I'm going to go outside the east. Okay, so you're heading outside. Um, We're missing someone in here. I don't know, mate. Feel like like this. Someone. Right. Ah, whatever. Suddenly less flappy. Quick investigation <laughs> here, and then you're looking. You can Got find. Oh well. Uh, you can find letters. Mm -hmm. Some correspondence is the same or very similar vein of what you currently have in the bag of holding, which is letters from the Architectural College in Fortalis that says the exact same thing. Uh, you're full of it, there are no upside down pyramids, your ruins are stupid and you're stupid and we hate you, and then a bunch of correspondence from where he wrote to people in Lack. This is academic, so not very professional. <laughs> I paraphrase, but you know. Uh, and then correspondence from Lack and all the people that he was reaching out to who are also no <laughs> names you know, uh, are people that you would have contacted if you'd found some interesting ruins and they're all telling him, uh, you, we're not going to come out to investigate any further. Yeah, he did not have much luck. I mean, we knew this. I did not really find anything <laughs> useful. Right. Okay. I rolled an 18. The walls here, sturdy, solid. Damn it. No secrets whatsoever. I was sure I was going to find something in here. Do you want to check the desk to see if you find anything better? And I'll sure, I'll check look at the desk. The okay. the shelves for any other information. You guys keep, keep investigating. We're going to go outside the palace now. We're going to go quickly to these guys, and then we'll come back to you. So... Right. Uh, you're in the Palatinate been... District. Cool, is there there are around? lots of estate-looking homes. Um, beautiful manners. Notably with this seal on it. I mean, I can just look at my hand. <laughs> I was just about to say. <laughs> Take um, that off, Rorik. There are guards stationed at many of these, uh, their mansions. And if you you don't recognize, some of the guards have the purple band of the yeah. town of Elyrin, but some of them have personal. different colored or personal. personal exactly. Guard. So. Do I see any guards with the seal over now? Not from here, but you can roll All right. and see if it helps you get in the way. There are guards around, though, so you could also talk to someone. I was going to do that. Are you looking for Kaleva's house? I was going perception. That's only a seven, so I don't see anything yet. Obviously. So you, you just you pick out the fact yeah. that there are there are clearly personal guards and town guards stationed at these. All right, who's homes. closest by? Uh, there's a man and a woman standing outside of one of the smaller homes. It's very cute, but it has a bit of um, colors and patterns that indicate to you that it's probably from someone who didn't grow up here. It stands out a little bit. This mansion. Uh, hi. Good day. Um, how are you? Hi. Welcome. Working. Working. Sorry. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Um, could you point me in the direction of the Vernau estate? Do you have permission to be here? I in do. The... We have all the permissions. Conducting an investigation about the Great Mother. Bang. Don't mind her. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to get in her bad side. Is that a threat? Not unless it has to be. Where's the house? Like, that's all I want to know. Give a man a shovel and he'll dig his own grave. He just can't keep his mouth shut. Four down on the left, you'll see it. Thank you. Oh, perfect, thank you. Have a lovely day. Enjoy the sun. <clears throat> uh, they, they stare at, they are clearly watching you as you go. 
Are you the, trailing along behind them? I am. Okay. Uh, I see that they've interacted. I see that they walk away and they kind of eye each other. So I look at the guard like, as I walk back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mean mugging. Right. Mean mugging like Kaiser so sick. So in this part of town, expect a lot of uppity pricks. Um, okay, four houses down. One, two... Yeah. <laughs> just the one? Yep, stone mansion. It has a huge, on the gates, the wrought iron gates have a big, the big v, v, the symbol of Vernau, Not that surprised. you've seen many times now and carry with you everywhere you go. And it guards? Right. No guards outside? Oh, guards, yeah, big yeah. time. Local right. guards. There are people outside. There's like a little, probably a small luncheon kind of thing happening. Or the wedding. Or a tea. Yeah. And you can pick out that there are two very attractive gentlemen who are very boisterous and chatty, and they seem to be hosting, and people are coming in, and lots of people are wearing those purple flower lays that... Oh, that I never took off. Uh, <laughs> crap. Are there any more of those purple lays? Just you took around? lots of stuff off. Uh, there will be night. inside I'm the sure gates. the lane. Oh, yeah. Get in. And there are... Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all know you took all your clothes off. Yes. Uh, Left right. lay on. It's time uh, to be oh. extremely cordial. Yeah. Because we're here to party. Uh... Hello, Vernal Guard. Um, <laughs> what an incredible luncheon you've got going on. Dennis. They've been uh, expecting my us. My name is Ulrich. Ulrich. Oh, Ulrich. Hello, I'm Rurik. Oh, yes. hi. Hi. I'm um, We were hired by Harl Vernal, and we're here conducting an investigation. Harl's, Harl's not home. He's uh, not I'm not looking for Harl, oh, but okay. uh, looking Great. to enter the house to look for something he told us about. <clears throat> and he has given us permission to go wherever we want. Is this the place? Yes. Good. <laughs> he unfolds it. I don't... Just, I would say you have to ask Burkdale before you can go inside the manor. Uh, actually, we wouldn't want to trouble him. It's his day before his wedding. Yeah, of course, of course. And we're actually, uh, we're here to enjoy the, the luncheon that's going on as well. Mm. We were invited. Do you have an invite? Uh, yes, of course. Well, I mean, we've got the uh, the seal that allows us to be invited uh, anywhere. We've been told that we... people coming into the luncheon will be will have a special invitation so that they can manage. Oh, and you look like a someone who would eat and drink a lot, and they have a limited amount. Oh, I'm quite sated. I'm not hungry at all right oh, that's now. That's right. And no, we just ate. We just wanted to come ouch. and socialize. That's all. We're not here to actually partake in any of the food or drink. Just say hello to everybody. It's quite all right. I have already eaten, for I drank. Far too much last night. We've been doing incredible and then I things ate for an the apple town. Turnover. This was all the turnovers. That's right. Um, I mean, we all did last night, right? This is a party weekend for the wedding. Exactly. We've we've I done punched incredible a banshee. things. You did. We are the Whoa. heroes of Elyrin. Yes. Is that wow? Yeah, we were hired There's by six our, of three of heroes. Yeah, we got three yes. doing some other stuff right now. That's They're right. at the pal today. You know, you're you're supposed to be finding out where is it. Yes. Oh, really? yes. She is not inside. I no. know that, but we when you do an investigation, you don't just go to where the thing is. You have to find your way. Clues. Isn't that exactly clues. what you're supposed to be doing? You're supposed to be going to where the thing is that you're trying to bring back? Yes, clues. We're looking for clues. Figure They're out not how clues inside. That. Oh, Those... there's plenty of blood, blood, blood crumbs. Bread crumbs? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, sorry, Ulrich, but uh, as you said, we'll just go talk to Bert. If you'll excuse me. Yes, okay. So, and you can see him, like, he calls out to another, like, there's, like, a little chain of <laughs> guards that he waves to one, and he waves to the next one, and he waves to the next one, and the other one goes over and taps Burke on the shoulder, and Berto looks over at you, and he's like, whoa, and he grabs Dallin by the arm, and he's like, oh, and they come trying to race over to you, but as they come, they shake hands, and they greet people, and they wave, and... They're, you know, and they run over I have my back turned to everyone and I'm cackling as hard as I can because I can't believe I said blood crumbs. When saying Guina says blood <laughs> crumbs, it makes me think of uh, the blood on my face and the necklace. May I please roll one more history check? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, blood crumbs. <laughs> and I roll. He's having blood crumb flashbacks. Nine. Not a one. Blood crumbs. The image of the necklace is now 
actually coming to you as opposed to before where you didn't really have the moment to store that. So now you remember it's a chain. It has a short red bead, a medium kind of length of bead, and then a very long one. And you can't quite remember if you've seen or heard about it before, but it seems to be unusual that the children of the seed would wear something so specific and not just dirty rags they found in the street. Or that they would keep it so clean and hidden. Mm. So, seems unusual to you, as you ponder. Uh, Rurik, Sen... Gwina, there is... uh, I've... I may have uh, thought of a thing. (gasps) I saw one of the children of the seed they had on a red necklace, a necklace made of red beads. I don't know what the beads themselves were. Hey, I'm checking. Where is that rock? Did you see the necklace on the other children? I'm just going to keep this in my pocket. Wait, it's a good idea. Uh, Is that it? No. Damn it. (laughs) You put it back. (laughs) It'll come in handy someday. it It was odd because it was, it was clean. They are not. Uh, <laughs> they are not. Oh, maybe it's maybe they were uh, someone from higher standing, like one of these assholes that was partaking and now is. Did it look expensive though? As the as you say, one of these assholes, or arrives and he puts his <laughs> arm around. He's like, right? Oh man, you guys are adventuring heroes. Oh yes, I right. need to hear all your stories. I was so worried where that we was going. We do have all the stories. We have all the stories. He I thinks feel like it's it, hilarious. It should be said that um, adventuring is implied when you say heroes. So you could just say heroes. I like this guy. Yeah, he's entertaining. Uh, <laughs> we're cutting outside the council palace back to the garden. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know. Stop splitting up then. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge <laughs> accepted. So you have been on quite the tour. Uh, your east and west and north and south is usually quite pretty good, but you're trying to like look out windows. Okay, the, the sun and the. But you make your way downstairs, out a bunch of hallways, winding. You're just you're sick of more beautiful pieces of art and nobles and corners chatting and merchants. Now well, I'm getting my paladin steps in today. It's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> and you reach no more drinking. the east gate and you head outside. <laughs> Paladin fingers? <laughs> Paladin Everything fingers, she does. They don't okay. even fang. Fang? Oh, right. She's outside. Right. It's a beautiful, lush garden meant for walking, and there's little paths that lead you through. There are lots of roses and tall flowers. There's a little bench. At the side where people could take a constitutional after they take a break from a meeting and maybe have a quick chat or a clandestine spy conversation. It's got that kind of vibe to it that, you know, it's along the edge of the Thames. It's beautiful, refreshing. I so want a nap on this bench. But no, I have shit to do. Um, then she's giving me bedroom eyes. I guess I could, technically everything is giving me bedroom eyes. I could nap. No, no. Um, I'm going to find a little, uh, I'm gonna investigate some of, the, some of the roses and be like, oh good, this is nice. See, you've got some friends and I'll scoop some of the, mm-hmm. some of the moist earth. Oh God, that smells so good. Oh fuck, I love outside. <laughs> and you are, you're laying down in the dirt, you're digging around. A couple of people walk past who are dressed very fancy. And they are... Take a bath, you hippie! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they whiff you a weird look, you give them a weird look back. Whoa! Never seen a half-elf digging in the dirt before? Fuck off! <laughs> Paladins. Paladins are notoriously friendly. <laughs> Holier. I didn't Holier. get <laughs> Holier than that. Bow. You are tired, you are cranky, but you are loving as the, the half-elf part of you the nature, the smell of the green plants beside you, the beautiful blossoms of the flowers, and the smell of the earth as it, oh, sure. Just, and the taste of it. Yep. I lick Earthy. the drops. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. 
It's nice. It's good quality soil. It tastes delicious for <laughs> people who like soil tasting things. I was licking the oh. dewdrop off the oh. rose. Oh, even better. Like in my mind. It tastes like <laughs> rose dewdrops should. Yep. <laughs> and as you plant the white wild rose that you found, <laughs> it needs some water. It does need some. Just water some little bits. You got a little satchel of water? Do some you? Water skin. Water skin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Give it some drops. Yeah. I thought I was gonna have to pee on it. Oh, yellow rose. Done. All right. I think that would actually. Here you are, little one. Yeah. <laughs> but as you water and plant the plant, the bloom starts to unfold. Oh, it an Alastra. Paladin's done it. <clears throat> and you find the it. hard piece at the center. I get a thing. I get a thing. I get a thing. <laughs> It's a piece of jade. Is it Sam? No, it's purple it's jade. Purple jade. It's it's purple jade. Purple jade. 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 Beautiful. And it has Elvish script on it. Oh, and what does it say? Which you can read. Because <laughs> it says, "Help me." All of this mm-hmm. for a fucking distress beacon. <laughs> we know she's in trouble. She. We know she's been kidnapped. All of this for a. Does it open a door? Does it, it's, it's carved on a stone, so it's got to do something a little bit. Like, use up the, you could like carve that in the. <sighs> Quick nap, and then I will. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> laying down for a little power nap, uh, and then upstairs to these guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we switched. He's checking the desk, I'm checking the shelves again. Looking What's for in the stuff. desk? I don't know. Okay. Uh, what is in the desk? I rolled a nine. Uh, mm. More letters, more <laughs> correspondence, lots of, like a bunch of little flasks of booze, mostly empty. Um, can I check Take the drawers individually? Just yeah, you want to see if there's like, any false bottoms or anything okay. like that? Yeah. There we go. 15. 15. So you find, uh, you're able to find a small key that's uh, stuck to the top of one of the other drawers and when you pull out it, pull out the key, it looks like it's exact match for a bottom drawer that's locked. Mm. Hey, Seto, come check this out. <laughs> sure. Uh, what did I see on the shelves? I rolled 18. Lots of books about the history of Kaimond and architecture as he is a world famous architect. Mostly books he's written himself. Any, any oh. of them look like they're actually good? Like, do I respect his academic work? <laughs> uh, Dungeons and Dragons, dude. <laughs> but so oh, much more. Are they peer reviewed? <laughs> you know, when you flip through it, you're, you're a little bit like <laughs> lower level. Like, okay. it's more, it's faux academia. Mm. He's up his own ass a bit. Well, yeah, okay, I won't, I won't keep any of these books. I was hoping maybe, you know, so it'd be good for my collection, but uh, let's, uh, let's see what's hey, in there. Hey, I found a key. Yeah. Oh, oh. This drawer looks like it's very recently been emptied. Oh. There's a layer of dust that goes to about halfway down and then a bunch of bits and bobble pieces of paper and stuff. So it looks like someone has very mm. recently emptied all the contents of this drawer. This is disappointing. Check under the table. <coughs> What's on the papers? Any, anything interesting? There's no paper no, in the it's, drawer. It's, it's okay, all empty. So you, I thought you said there was bits and bobbles and papers in the back. Well, a little, like, like a tiny piece of a corner. Oh. Yeah. The, the paper says it's a corner, man. Nothing <laughs> on here. There you go. I, I misunderstood. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here at the shelf. Right? <laughs> you know, I can't see right in the But it looks like somebody emptied this out very quickly. I'm guessing as soon as he found out he was in trouble, he came and emptied the shit that he had in here. It's probably back at his house. We should definitely check his house. Yeah, we should. Mm-hmm. So I guess we don't have anything else to look at in here. No. Uh, oh, Paladin just has disappeared. Push this one oh. other thing over. <laughs> I just don't like this. There's man. a really, like, <laughs> a strange looking vase. It might have, maybe it's a swan, maybe it's a person laying, and you just like, bink, <clears throat> and it falls to the ground. Crash. <laughs> that made me feel better. <laughs> All right. 
Are you pushing over anything larger before you go? Or are you guys now done? I mean, I mean, I think I'm done pushing stuff. I mean, I was throwing some papers around, but uh, you said there was some um, flasks of booze in the desk. Maybe? They all look empty. Oh, they're all empty. For now, guys, sucks. <laughs> I like that that's what you hone in on right there. That was the moment for you. I mean, I was hoping we could salvage something from this whole office operation, but no. It looks like there's a decanter maybe in the corner that's still got a little bit of whiskey in it. Oh, yeah. oh. Check that out. There you go. <laughs> How's the smell? It's high-end, very expensive. Uh, Is there anything big on the walls or anything like that? There are portraits of Vernal himself. I lift those and look behind them. Yep. There's nothing there but one. Are uh, uh, any of the empty uh, flasks <laughs> enough to hold? You said there was a... Uh, yeah. I don't want to just carry <laughs> around a decanter. Big feather, right? <laughs> yeah, he has a, he's a peacock feather. With an ink well next yep. to it? Yep. Yep. No, yeah, I grabbed the flask. Grab it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now he's much better. What so, do you think of my artwork? <laughs> It is <laughs> <laughs> so you take one of his deca- one of his yeah I filled up a flask one of his flasks uh, and you, take the- you know there might be a little left in the decanter take a sip and it's, it's really good whiskey you should try it alright all right, I'll take a sip whiskey without me mm. fuck that'd have been mm. a damn good nap I mean, it tastes like whiskey yeah it's got really lingers on the tongue it's so complicated you know you get uh, stuff <laughs> you know you need to like change you gotta have some more whiskey one day that, that'll really linger yeah, I had it once. It still lingers. <laughs> 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 and you guys uh, head out yeah. from the room, having Open the door. defaced his paintings and drank his... It was like that when we got there. <laughs> totally just like that. The guard looks into the room and he's just like... <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened, mate. No, I'm sure everything's going to be fine. You have yourself a wonderful day. You've been doing a great job. All right, we're going to go. Oh, yes, God, yes, every time. Give him two gold. <laughs> okay. All right. That's that. Uh, He's see like, I didn't see you guys. And he trucks it back down the hall. Wait, wait, uh, wait before you run off, uh, our friend uh, left the room ahead of us. Where the hell did she go? She went out to East Door. And that would be... Go down the stairs and go left. All right, thank you. I think she said she wanted to find a place to have a nap. Of course she did. Yeah, that sounds like an important thing to do right now. Yes, absolutely. It's <laughs> definitely uh, top of our priorities. Yeah, let's go. Have a good day, sir. He doesn't t- talk to you again. He just keeps on rude. Uh, his people. <laughs> yeah, no, his people. Yeah. And you head out Aaron. through the palace. Deal with classy folks like us. I know. Mm. It's not going to take you very long. You travel down. You arrive in the garden where asleep on the bench is the paladin. And you notice that not too far from her, the rose is planted and has blossomed. Well, that's new. Yeah, apparently she accomplished something. More than us. That's good. <laughs> I don't know. I think my artwork speaks for this, itself. This whiskey's really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whiskey. Hello. She pops up. Uh, I don't up. know what you're talking about. And while <laughs> she pops away, we go back out to the palace, or back out of the palace to Hi. the Vernau Manor, where you're talking to Burke and yes. his Yes, you're crew. Burke and I assume... His fiance. Dalin? Hi! Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. We are three of the heroes of Elliot. That's right. You so they, do they call you something else? Um, I'm Rurik. Uh, huh? Wait, I, I personally love to call all of us the band of boneheads, actually. I find Start that uh, super mm, catchy. That's, that's yeah. not what we've, I don't think we've, uh, we Feels, should bring that to a What's your name? Feels right My right. name is Sanguina. Are you a fan? Absolutely not. I'm just a little bit oh. sickly. I don't do well in the sun, that's all. You seem disappointed. I know, I'm just curious. It's super fun to meet people who are... From all over the place, right? Mm. Yeah. Uh, also, I mean, you've seen crazy adventures, right? I am a have. an artist, and so I love to paint and write poetry and sing songs and, ah. I mean, collect stories from people. So I'm always excited to meet so you people have who might have... So you have the eccentric stories, yeah. Well, then maybe I could... I'm a little bit... And Dallin happy. pats him on the back and he just <laughs>, laughs. He's like... Yeah, some of the things he does, so beautiful. I, I mean, I love you. Uh, <laughs> the singing part, don't. No, don't don't let him do that. Okay. Oh, oh great. Right. Paintings, though. 
just oh. magnificent. Oh. He he's painted some portraits of his father that are just up <gasps> all over the offices. Are they? And inside? they are throughout the council palace. They are hmm. some I'm, of the most realistic likenesses I've ever seen someone do. They're mag- just beautiful. Are, beautiful. They, are they inside? Would we be able to see them inside? There's lots of of paintings oh inside. Oh God, we would absolutely love to take them. Would you like to show us them? Uh, we're, we, we don't want to keep busy. you. We understand yeah, you have right. a whole thing going on before your wedding. Um, Burke looks really sad because he's like, I want to go uh, do stuff with them. Like, well, mm, they're more fun than these stuffy assholes were entertaining. Well, we I couldn't agree Dallin. more. I couldn't agree more. We oh, are. Yeah. <laughs> they're having a little like back and forth here while the three of you are able to have a quick conversation while they uh, discuss whether or not they can. Okay. We gotta get inside this house really quickly. Absolutely. Well, we want to go look at their art under that pretense. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't really matter. You can just totally lie. They don't seem to care. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, fine. I think that we should try to keep these guys busy. Maybe you can sneak in. Absolutely, of course. I could also sneak in. Okay, I'll keep them busy. Okay. Um, Perfect. Can take you, this in case you get. Can caught. you s- sing? No. Can you stand the sound of someone who sings badly? Yes. Get him singing. Good call. Take this with you in case you get caught inside. Thanks. All right. I want it to uh, hold. Um, so you say that you're, and I kind of start walking off to one side to allow these two to slip the other way. Uh, you, sorry, so I do have quite an ear for entertainment. And you fancy yourself a singer? I mean, I've definitely come across situations where, in a couple, someone doesn't think that the other person can sing, but really it's some sort of weird thing, and, and it's just their opinion, but really they're quite good. So if you would humor me, I'd love to hear a song. You are a couple other nobles who are close by, be like, yes, yeah, sing for us, Burke! Uh, but they're like laughing, because it's... It's well known that yeah. it's terrible. Uh, and so they nudge each other, and he's like, oh, I couldn't possibly sing for you. Oh, let's oh, get please. everybody together! Uh, yeah. And so he starts rounding up the group, and Dallin's like, uh, okay, well... Uh, this is all your fault. Yes, and, I'm aware of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's have a drink then. Shall sure, we? can uh, do. Uh, have you traveled much through Praelis, which is where I'm traveling from? To Praelis. Uh, yes, you've been through there. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and so as he he kind of walks you away, telling you a bit about where he's from and his merchant trade, and he mostly deals with. Uh, shipments of wine is sort of oh. his main priority right now as a part of his family that does general trade worldwide. Fascinating stuff. I run a business myself, and I busy him in talking. So you guys are talking, and Burke is striking up. There's a couple people who have flutes, and it is a caterwaul. It is the story of the history of Elior and the Hero, <laughs> and it's... Miserable. <laughs> While this is happening, I lean into your Rurik just before I disappear. Rurik. Mm. So... Crabber's talk outside. Go what? <laughs> right. Uh, there was a major shipment of wine that Dallin lost. He was trying to uh, bring it to here mm-hmm. for the wedding. Mm-hmm. And it mysteriously vanished on the way. But that's kind of all you can get out before okay. the yes. conversation that we just went through. But I'm you do sorry. manage to give him a that's little... Um, just so you know, there's massive amounts of wine that just so mysteriously went missing. So with that, I uh, r- r- rest my hand on your sh- shoulder. And we both I, yeah, I, I w- 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 whisper words in Elvish as we back up, <laughs> and I cast Pass Without t- t- Trace on her and me. Nice. So <laughs> describe what it does for everyone. Pass Without Trace, a water type Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Avail let's of give her the Cole's notes. Cool, cool, cool. Um, <laughs> you you get plus ten to d- Dex stealth checks. Plus ten. Plus ten. <laughs> Your boy. She. In so. addition to everything you've already. We stealth it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So get in there. Yeah. So you guys can both now roll stealth. To plus ten to just dex or st- no your stealth checks. Yeah. So roll your stealth check with everything you would add normally, then add another ten. Okay. Here we go. So everybody does a stealth check, and then you guys are going to sneak in through. You have two options now. There's the main door to the house where people are moving in and out, and they're mostly carrying wine as they move. They have little plates of appies and snack things, and then there's another entrance that is being used by servants. Mm. So you guys are how stealthy are you? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Stealth. 
Whoa! You're tied. You're equally amounts of super stealthy. Agnes. Okay. So <laughs> which? which <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh. You're beautiful. Which door do you want to do? The main door or the servants' entrance? I'm partial to the servants' entrance. Oh, main door. Let's do the main door. Let's just go through the main door. I think we should do the servants' entrance. Okay, you guys are having a bit of a in the shadows back and forth about this. <laughs> you walk this way, he walks this way, you walk this way, he walks this way, and we go back to the garden. <laughs> okay. Hey. So we're thinking okay. that uh, we should head on over to Harl's house. Uh, uh, we found whiskey some... first, answers second. <laughs> There's no whiskey. I don't know what you're talking about. I will um, hit you with the back of my ring hand. Give me. You're welcome to try. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Look, we were searching through his office. We uh, found a key, unlocked a drawer. There was nothing in it, but it looked like he had just torn out of there. Everything he could have... Clearly all the, the secrets he was carrying, he brought home with him. So I think we should head to his house and find out. But before we do that, what the fuck happened with the flower? Well, I planted it, and I gave it some water, and it, the petals unfolded, and I found the hard thing. The hard thing. Yep. Right. Yep. It is a jade. Adrathani yes. says, jade. "Help me." So someone, it's it's a distress beacon. It's well, okay. Obviously from the Green Mother, who painstakingly carved it into a piece of jade, which is actually a very tough rock. Uh, I mean, that's good to know, I guess. But uh, we, well, we, we know, know she's she... been kidnapped. Yeah. So we're, so we're, so... All right, well, hopefully that'll come in handy later. We'll figure that out at some like, point. Like, when you're being dragged away by your kidnapper, like, my last thought is not like, oh, shit, I'm, I should, like, find a little, conjure a little rose and, like, ning, 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 ning. Hold on a second, sorry. Would you ning, 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 Put it in a fucking... It's, 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 I mean, my guess would be that, that she thought, thought she was going to be abducted and probably did it in advance so that it would be hidden and not in front of her abductor, but, like... It doesn't really matter. We should probably get going to Harl's. Yeah, to the house. Yeah, I mean, I just, I think we're gonna find more answers there. Like I said, I think he's hiding something. We need to find it. I did my flower thing. I don't give a shit where we go now. All right, then. Follow along. You'd think you'd be in a better mood after your nap. I uh, was interrupted, and I was also very excited for post-nap whiskey. Yeah, that's too bad. I, I don't know where you got that idea. <laughs> Do you want to actually see brandy. if you can perception <laughs> detect it? <laughs> roll off for you guys. For whiskey. So you're gonna roll perception, and you can the, roll the insight versus my deception. Yes. Okay. Welcome back so to another episode don't of tell, Dogs don't and Whiskey. Don't tell an idea. <laughs> roll me on. Oh dear. Oh. Did you botch? <laughs> <laughs> you can totally spell it on his breath. You Watch know he's lying. Does that mean I get some? You can roll some percentile die for me just to help mm -hmm. me assess this. Mm -hmm. Sitch. <laughs> sure can. Falls right at this Yeah. <laughs> 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 so we fall. Okay, uh, roll a d4. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's what you really? get for being a dick to me, Seno. <laughs> Sharesies is caresies. Four. <laughs> Yo, Max. <laughs> okay. Damn, dude. <laughs> so, Sun? indeed, the little flask that you took starts to, like, fall out of your pocket. And as it slips down, though, you feel it, like, shake down your leg. And so you chase it down, <laughs> trying to look smooth, but she is on to you and watching. And as it hits the ground, you... It's a spider in my cloak. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you bend down to grab it, and while you bend down, you hit your head on a... Uh, Beautiful uh, peeing boy statue. <laughs> and you... Oh! Yeah. Right off the wang. <laughs> <laughs> Zeno, my, you all right? I my head on a wang. <laughs> oh. oh, Zeno. At least you still well have Yeah, so to Harl's. Well done. Uh, I see. <laughs> With You're... that, we should get on Luckily, our way. Luckily, it's under your hair, so you can sort of pull it and be like, that's so cool. My hood up. I just want to say you're both incredibly smooth, all right? I just want to lay that out for you. Yeah, like all a baby's right. bottom. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and you walk down the road, and you as it doesn't take you long before you hear an obnoxious noise. Uh, 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 
<laughs> and you you make out that not not standing not too far from it, apparently enjoying himself, you can see through these wrought iron gates up to this path of this beautiful manor. Rurik. <laughs> this is a song of Kaiman. Do I recognize it? Yes. Okay, I start singing along as well. <laughs> Here's my boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see how this well this is going. Oh, oh, oh my Terrible. god. Not great, not no, great. Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> Settle down, magic fans. Burke's Nine. clearly been in. Uh, you sound actually slightly better than Burke. Yeah. And I yeah, practice yeah. singing a lot when I walk through the woods. Oh, God, <laughs> dear God. Keep it out for the bands. You sing on your own. <laughs> yeah, that actually, and that sounds slightly better than what Burke's doing. <laughs> Uh, but you're you're standing there <laughs> with Dallin. Uh, you both have a beautiful little mug. It's got little bits of fresh mint in it. And Rick, hmm. oh hey, oh, welcome. The, as you you're standing with Dallin, so the guards yeah, let you pass calling. through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Dallin, these are the other three of uh, of the heroes. Hold on. And I join in for the final crescendo of the song. And we sang to the Kaiman history. And we are so great. Hey, right on. <laughs> it's a distraction. It's hot. You notice uh, there is a uh, young waiter gentleman come by, and he's got just a tray full of these very alcoholic smelling little. No, 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 thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, yeah, oh, hey. so hey, um, Dolan, uh, Seno. Aaron, oh. Alany, uh, one of the grooms for the wedding. Mm. Well met. I'm Dalin, hello. Hello. He's an attractive human with dark hair and very tanned skin, and his collar is high and crisp, but you can make out that he's very fit underneath and a crisp jacket. Hello, you are a good-looking human with a crisp jacket. Congratulations on your wedding. Um, Thanks for the drink. Thanks for the drink. There you go. Oh, so good to meet you, another yeah, hero. Yeah, yeah, we must Very apologize. Sorry. She's an excellent hero. Not so good on the social stuff. But, you know, I happen to be very social. I like her. Good. She seems great. Uh, didn't you she guys have that effect a on flower? flower? Yes, yeah. about that. It's now planted, and uh, this came out. I don't know, some purpose. Yep. I'm gonna show it to him. Okay, can't read it. What's it say? Uh, it says, help me in Elven. That's an interesting clue. Dallin is looking at uh, You guys found oh. something? I know that you're supposed to be here to... Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's one of the clues of our investigation. But uh, that's some purple oh, rock. Um, no. Hard to say. <laughs> you're you're here at the good. house where everything kind of started because we're now hired you, so... Yeah. Not good? No, a lot of investigations lead you full circle. <laughs> it's true. Yes. <laughs> yeah, in our professional opinion, yes, this happens a lot. Yeah. Um, so I hire professionals. I mean, for sure. You know, I was gonna come find you guys and see if you had some time to go investigate my uh, missing shipment of Lendar bread, but I mean, you seem busy. Where no, well, did it, perhaps the two are related. Where did it go missing? Yeah. Uh, coming in on the road from the north, I think. Whereabouts is? Do you know about the nearby jade mine? I'm sorry, what? No. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> You, one second. I, I have things to do. I get yeah, it. Sure. You guys have, um, you have important I, stuff to do. I, I mean, wouldn't mind asking you some questions. Later, but, uh, yeah. maybe after you guys actually resolve this, Burke and I would love to hear more about this. Because, cool. I mean, he's always up for a story, and I'm just curious about people of the world. Sure. Before you uh, head back into your party here, do you know where Harl lives? No, we haven't seen him all day. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. When did your Linda Red go missing? Um... Must have been two nights ago. Hmm. On the road from Rake? Uh, it was originally coming from Rake, but it was coming down from the north, the way the, the uh, uh-uh. crew was coming from. Right. So there's a way to get from Rake to here without climbing a giant. Anyway. <laughs> um, is Dolan buggered off now? Yep. So, okay, we went to the blacksmith, found out about this mine, and apparently <laughs> Zub was in there and he bought... Uh, he was asking questions about the mine. He bought like a sharpening stone, um, but he was wearing a hood at the time. I think that Zup is the hood thing. I mean, yeah. the guy's just all kinds of dirty. Yeah, you um, shouldn't trust people in hoods. No, well, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, but he apparently doesn't always wear one. 
and we're trying to figure out who that hooded figure was, you know, that thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened to the flower? You got the thing, like, what, what does that mean? I'm wondering, because of its shape. Where's the flower now? Mean, it's Jade. It's in the garden. He didn't keep the flower. No, I planted it. You could just, it opened up and. And gave us a piece of Jade that said Yeah, but what me. if it means help me like the flower? Anyway. I'm like, help the planted, flower. I made sure it had we a lovely spot with good drainage and right. little flower friends. And I'm just saying flower might not be a flower. It might be something else. Oh, we ripped out a lot of its petals. <laughs> and I threw it against the wall. So did, <laughs> so did Hammerlake. Why? Hammerlake. What did you mean when you say that? I didn't have this. So you guys saw Hammerlake? Yes. yes. Yeah. We brought her up to speed. Her. She was not in a good mood. Okay, so this mine no. apparently I... is haunted and it's abandoned. And the kids from the town for the last X number of years have been going there and like scaring themselves. But if Sup was asking about the mine, I think we should probably. You said it's a jade mine. Yeah. And, and we have a jade stone that yeah. says help I me. think this might be a sharpening stone, given its shape. Hmm. No? I mean, could be. It's, it's, but would I know that? Likely said a yeah. jade would be a sharpening stone. You would know that. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. Is it? Uh, not really. No. Doesn't, yeah, no. I don't think so. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, you do think, think the, the shape is strong. unusual and specific. It's oh. a keystone. Okay. But I think it might be a thing. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I think we definitely need to inspect this mine. <gasps> yes, uh, we need yeah, to get the no, other we need to take the mine was haunted, and we got attacked by banshees whose dirt was brought here by somewhere else. Right. Yes. So, okay, mine first, and then we go back to the pyramids yeah. because yeah. this is going to open the pyramid thing. Possibly. Did but we see a place with. for a key? At no, Superman? but we didn't look. We didn't very look much. Hard. But uh, the other two were inside. I was created. The whole singing thing was a distraction, so they could sneak in. And look for anything that has to do with Zup or Arl that might be of use. So I'm realizing I should have gone them. in there to see for, like, look for We need to get them out of the house then. Yeah. And we're Fire! going to go into the house and find out what's inside next time! Oh god, okay. Oh. <laughs> it goes so fast! You guys are so verbose! Really you you just did so good. Talk and you talk and you wave <laughs> and you whine and you wander Jeez. around in the circles and you talk and you talk. We're and almost talk all back together. Since the chat of vampire who uses her time to try and peep on other people. You know what? You know what? <laughs> this I is liked how you it. Learn. You you were doing fantastic. <laughs> I liked it. Mm. Keep going.